Hello YouTube, Chester Boyer, and today we take a look at the Mugen Gata Series 08 Galaxy Rex from Machine Robo Mugen Mine. This is the 8th entry into the Mugen Gata Series line that contains many parts and one Mugen Roid to be combined with various other with other um, Mugen Mine figures. So, let's start, let's start taking a look at the Mugen Roid itself. So you can see it is mainly red, white, and yellow. Well, with some, well it's just a yellow accent and we've got green and he's got green eyes, so yeah, nothing much, nothing special going on. So I'm gonna go here the stickers here. It says uh, it has like a dinosaur head with a G. It says Galaxy Rex on the bottom. See on the other side. So pretty neat. And of course on the side here you have a G on the side, and of course the other is the mirrored version of that letter. So yeah. And then one thing that's pretty neat is that the top of the head resembles a T Rex. So. Well, if you look at it closely enough. Well, if you look at it close enough. So, yeah, pretty neat. So, articulation, it's pretty typical. So, arms swing all the way around. Legs can go forward and backward. Knees can bend. And there's a toe joint. So, yeah. So, that's that. And here are the here are the parts that comes with it. So, we got these two parts. Um, of course, they do, com they do combine together. Um, you just like an NBG on there. So, so yeah, that's <laughs> so you got that. Of course, these do bend. So, of course, we got these two these two um, booster parts, and on, on each one of them we got we got MR Mugen Bind MMG. So yeah, so now some of the now it may look like um, it's it may look it's like pure white on camera, but um like from my point of view, it looks like um, there's some yellowing going on. So yeah. <laughs> so, and of course, keep in mind that all these Mugen Mine figures I'm gonna, I'm gonna review are gonna be secondhand condition. So yeah, and of course, we got this chest piece right here. It had the Mugen Mine sticker on there. And you can see there's a random blue stripe on there. However, that's gonna come into play because this does combine because this figure does combine with another um, Mugen Mine figure. So of course, here's the back. It's got a foldable peg in there. Well, that's for the uh, combination of the um, other. The um, other Mugen Mine figure, which, if you're wondering, yeah, that other Mugen Mine figure I mentioned is Heat Tricera. So, yes. And, of course, I don't own him at the time of this recording. So, yeah. That's that. And, of course, we got this piece right here. You see we got a cockpit. And we got two um, boosters. And, yeah, so you can pretty much tell that is the ammo mode um, head. So, yeah. So, and of course, I got this piece right here, which you got some silver hooks on there, or just like silver claws, rather. And uh, yeah, nothing much going on with it for this piece, so yeah. All right, so first things first, we're gonna start doing the vehicle mode or machine mode, if you will. And you guys, you can pretty much tell this guy becomes a rocket ship. So, pull up the head, pull these arms in, and that's pretty much it. Now, we're going to take this piece right here, or actually, wait, we're going to combine these two together. Make sure these two clip together. So you can, we got the tip of the rocket. And, um, let's see. So you put this on like, actually, no. Make sure you put it on like, put, make sure you put it this way, so that way these um, black lines line up correctly. So it makes a nice, nice detail. So, yeah. And of course, you just plug it onto the top like this. Now we're gonna take this piece right here with the silver paint, the silver bits on there. I'm just gonna simply plug it on there like this. Then you're gonna take this piece right here and make sure you make sure the canopy is facing up. So this will peg onto the top. And for the thrusters, you could put them which way you want. You could put them like over the Mugenbai logos here or up here, but the instructions say to put them up up on this peg right here. So So there you go, that's the vehicle mode. And it's a rocket. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Not a bad rocket. So, well, for me, I preferably put the... I like to put the boosters onto these here. Onto these sides here. Makes it look a little bit better. But, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. It's a rocket. It doesn't have any landing gear, sadly. But, um, do rockets ever have landing gears? I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. That's pretty much it for the um, vehicle mode. 
Okay, so next mode is the animal mode. And you can pretty much tell this is going to become a T-Rex. So, yeah. So, pull up the head, swing the arms in. Then from here, you're going to flip up these pegs here so that they're facing this way. And for the legs, you're going to swing, you're going to swing them out like this. And you're going to fold them down from the knees. So, just like that. And that's a, let's start adding some parts. So, so we're going to put this piece on here. And you're going to use the middle section. So, just like this. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and plug these two again. And you can, and you can already guess, this is going to become the tail. So, and this plugs right underneath these two pegs. So, these two holes, rather. Now we're going to take the booster bits, and they simply go underneath where the Muganroid's feet were. So, just like that. So, do the same on this side. Then you're going to take this piece right here with the silver paint, the silver claws, and you're going to put them onto the front like this. And last but not least, remember this was the um, the rocket ship canopy? Turn it upside down, you got the T-Rex head. And you spug it onto the front. So there you go. So now you have Galaxy Rex in its beast mode. Or dinosaur mode, I could say. And yeah, it's... Because... Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be a T-Rex because, you know, it's got short, short arms and stuff like that. You know, it's supposed to be posed like, kind of supposed to be like posed like this with the, um, actually, oh, okay. So you can try and do that, but it, do, it does look rather awkward, so, yeah. And of course, you could, you know, you could break the ratcheting joints in the process, so don't even bother, so, yeah. Now, the people are wondering why these two fold in half, that's because that's for the combination of Galaxy Rex and Heat Tricera. So, yeah, or I should say this guy and Heat Tricera, which again, I don't own him at the time of this record, at the, the, at the time of this recording, so, yeah. Articulation, well, you can count the head and this, but that's pretty much it. So, so yeah, that's pretty much the um, animal mode, or Tarsum mode, if you will. All right, so the third thing I want to talk about is the quote-unquote um, super robot mode, which I did look at the back of the box, and there is actually no official robot mode, but I'm just going to make it up, make one up. So basically, I'm going to plug this onto the back like this, um, because, you know, it's, he's going to be based off an astronaut, if you will. So, and then you're going to plug this on the back like this. Then plug this on the back um, like this. Like a jetpack. And for these, I'll just plug them onto the side like this. Uh, actually, actually, before we do, let's, let's just plug these pieces on. Become like rocket feet, like booster feet, if you will. So. <clears throat> I think, okay. Right. So, I guess just angle them like this. So, yeah, just make like extra armor or something like that. So, and then I go, here's my quote unquote um, super robot mode with all the part with no parts left out. So, yeah. Yeah, the backpack is a little cumbersome, but I try to give it like a whole astronaut feel, you know, whole astronaut look to it. So, yeah. Um. So yeah. So feel free to copy this if you own Galaxy Rex, if you will. So yeah, that's that. All right. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little sneak peek of the combination between Heatricera and this guy. So, and that comment is called Boogie and Dino Double. So, again, I'm gonna do a little sneak peek. So we're gonna do the, we're gonna focus on Galaxy Rex. So, hold on the head, swing the arms forward. And that's it. Now from here, we're actually gonna plug this piece on, and then we're gonna plug the T Rex head on, and then plug one of the um, booster parts underneath the head. So just like that. 
then you can go ahead and you can actually attach these, um, what will become the chest piece of the combination. Now you're going to take one of the uh, booster parts, and this is, well, I just say the, the rocket tip parts, and these are going to fold in like this, and that reveals a peg. And this, will gonna, this, and this is going to go on to the back. Actually, this is, what the heck? All right. Okay. So it's going to plug in like this. Oh. Okay. I'm going to make sure that the um, the halves of the M, B, and G are facing inwards. So just like that. Now, you can pretty much tell this is what it's going to look like. So let me bring the camera up. There we go. Okay. So this is a little sneak peek of what Moogie Dino Double will look like. So, yeah. So basically, if I, so if you get, if I find Heat Tricera, I'll get him and just and complete this combination. Oh, by the way, the combiner head, which the, um, which the Heat Tricera figure comes with, is going to plug into this, this hole. So, yeah. So yeah, just a little sneak peek. So, overall, Galaxy Rex is a pretty good figure. Um, it's a lot of fun, and you can, pre you can make many combinations if you wish, or many modes, if you will, because hey, it's Moog and Vine. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I gotta say. Um, now, I would say Galaxy Rex kind of falls into the um, uncommon side of, you know, like how rare this is. Like, like Air Leon was kind of common, Bill Draft was common, Carry Eagle was kind of common, uh... I guess Eva Rhinos is kind of a, um, I think Dick Kong, Eva Rhinos, and Fang Tiger fall into the, um, uncommon side, you could, if you, you, you can want to say. It, like this guy. So he's kind of like the uncommon rarity. So, yeah. So good luck. So, so I did get this from eBay, of course. So, <laughs> so, yeah. And of course, once I get Heat Tricera, I will, sh I'll make a, I will make a, um, well, I'm going to make a separate video of the Mugen Dino Double combination. And also, he does, in fact, have a combined dinosaur mode as well with Heat Tricera. So, yeah. So, once again, Heat Tricera, I'll just make a review on him. Then I'll do a separate video on the common, the two combinations of, you know, of Galaxy Rex and Heat Tricera. So, yeah. So, the next review is going to be the Mini Pla Jackpot Striker from Lupin Ranger vs. Pat Ranger. So, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon next to it. If you want to find my Twitter and like my Facebook page, the links are down below in the description. So, I will catch you next time.